Welcome back to SwiftCat. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how we can make multiple web views in one view controller. Suppose if I am having two buttons and I want to show these two buttons in one view controller with two web views, I mean with two web URL, you can make it possible and it is very easy as well. Let's go to that project. All right so the output of the project will be like this so so i have a view control over here i have a button go to apple go to google so it's going to the web view for the apple and it's good this is button going to the web view for google so suppose if i am clicking to go to apple it will navigate to web view for apple and if i am going for google it will show google as well that's our project all right so for that i have two view controllers over here as you can see and this view controller i have uh, two buttons to uh, show my web views and this is a web view and i have to show multiple web urls in this single view controller that's the project and uh, for that you know as everyone if you browse uh, how we can make a web view it's it's very easy you can find even a uh, hundreds of um, replies and how hundreds of google search you can find how you can make web view in a uh, view controller one so i have already set a web view controller in order to save time and i will show you This is my web URL and I have already cre created uh, my uh, outlet for the my web view as web view as you can see here web view that's WK web view and uh, I have a URL to display as well funk display URL and this is the pro uh, program actually you can easily find it in Google uh, and, and I have attached as a source code as well so this is the URL actually for a single web view and I want to show multiple web views in this single view controller. So let's go back to this second view controller and I have to go to my uh, I have already uh, IB outlets for the first first button and the second button. So I just need to show uh, two web views in this URL two buttons sorry. All right let's do that. So I am going to my web view, view controller and what I am going to do is I am going to create a var variable in my uh, web view controller. So let's say let's var url website equal to let's say https Uh, google dot com all right so what i'm going to do is i have created a var url website with something else inside the string you can make the string as empty as well doesn't matter so what i'm going to do uh, until under my url string is i'm going to remove my url and i'm going to type it over here url website which i have created as var variable so let's go back to our previous view controller okay this is my previous view controller in this one i have two ib outlets go to apple url and uh, google url so this code actually it's navigating to uh, to the to my next view controller so what i'm going to do here is i have des vc so des vc dot url website is equal to the website or the url you can place it over here suppose if i am going and check for apple url so i need to copy this apple url and paste it in this url all right the same i'm going to do for the google let's say test vc <coughs> dot URL website equal to 
say https www.google.com you can place uh, whatever website if you want uh, doesn't matter you know and this actually is for two buttons if you have a uh, in case if you have a segue you, suppose if you have a segue and with identifier and you want to show something multiple web views you can use this code like uh, it's for a uh, override for funk prepared for segue ui storyboard uh, if segue ident with identify website one this is the program which actually you need to use is if you are using segue actually I have buttons here in this my uh, project so I don't need this code so I am commenting this uh, code as well this is for a segue actually and I have already created a program for uh, if you have a table view if you have, suppose if you have a side menu bar or a table view you can call this function like this func table view did select row at index path 0 what this is the action you need to call for index path 1 this is the action you need to call like same so uh, I just mentioning it uh, if you in if in case you are using with a segue or a table view or collection view and if in case so that's the thing actually it's very quite easy and simple so let's build and see what's going to happen you know so I'm going to build that and uh, this is my web URL let's stop this for a while I want to mention you one more thing I'm going to my info.plist what I need to mention you is in this section I have called app transport app transport security settings and if you click the app transport security settings under this you can find allow at arbitrary loads so you, if in case it's if it's a no just make sure it is yes otherwise if you run the app it will show a white page and you won't be finding a URL or a web view in your V controller so make sure that you go to your info.playlist and uh, make the settings according to at allow arbitrary loads to s okay that's it and we are going back to our view controller and see everything is fine okay let's run it now and check it's loading actually this is my view controller okay so I have two buttons here go to Apple and uh, go to Google if I'm clicking the first button go to Apple okay that's going to the Apple web view actually this is my Apple web view I can scroll it down doesn't matter and I have a back button I'm going back again and if I'm going to if I want to go to Google I'm clicking that button it's going to Google I'm going back again that's it that's very easy and simple you can make up to uh, how many web URL doesn't matter 50 or 100 doesn't matter but this is the easy method which you can do and uh, that's all for this project and thank you very much for watching thank you